Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be looking at my top 5 Wii U games of all time. I'm really looking forward to bringing you this video, hope you guys are excited for it. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Number 5 Alright, kicking this list off is Axiom Verge. Now, what can I say? I'm a huge lover of any retro-inspired 2D platformers, running guns, and metroidvanias. And this game just nails it, from the presentation, music, and controls. And it was all made by just one person, which is pretty impressive. But it isn't perfect, and I'll touch on those. The game is roughly about 8 to 10 hours long, and quite frankly, I didn't really find Axiom Verge that difficult, even on my first playthrough. Now, the game has you start as a simple scientist with nothing but a simple gun, and as you progress, you rack up a huge variety of weapons and gadgets. All of them feel unique and a lot of fun. You get laser beams, spread weapons, and controllables to scout areas ahead. Exploration, however, would probably be the low point of the game, which kind of sucks because it is a Metroidvania. And as you know, you will need to backtrack and explore the map. But overall, fantastic game and definitely the definitive version on the Wii U due to it utilizing the Wii U gamepad. Definitely the version I would recommend playing. Number 4 Zombie U was a launch title for the Wii U and so it really took advantage of the Wii U gamepad's functionality. Zombie U had so many great concepts, for example when you died your character turned into a zombie carrying your items, so you would restart as a new person, have to look for your old character, kill them and get your items back. Other cool features was whenever you went through your inventory it forced you to look at the Wii U gamepad acting as your bag and so you would need to glance up the TV just to make sure no zombies were sneaking up on you. It really created a sense of tension and anxiety. The game is quite difficult where zombies take a lot of hits. Facing one zombie isn't too bad, but up against a horde you will get overwhelmed really quickly. So you may need to resort to using a gun to quickly finish them off. However, with the risk of alerting zombies nearby. The game makes good use of audio and the zombies are pretty scary in this and sneaky. If you aren't paying attention, zombies can and will sneak up on you and they kill you pretty easily. Zombie U has great replay value as well, and so the permadeath mode is perfect for this because it just adds this extra layer of fear and anxiety knowing that if you die, you are dead for good. The environments are pretty good and vary with underground metro stations, the Buckingham Palace, rooftops and sewers. Zombie U is on other consoles, but I would highly recommend the Wii U version as the gamepad just makes it the most superior version. Number 3 Now my third pick is a Zelda title and that being Twilight Princess. Now this Zelda game has a lot of sentimental value to me as I first played this on the Wii's launch day with my brother in front of our old CRT TV. Now I remember being enthralled and intrigued by this new mature dark and gritty Zelda game and boy, it lived up to my expectations. And now, fast forward, having a HD remaster on the Wii U is a no-brainer to own. Twilight Princess also has two of my favorite Zelda dungeons, the Forest Temple, and especially the Snow Peak Ruins. I just remember as a kid, always wanting to live in the Snow Peak Ruins mansion. Not too sure why, but I was always just like, this looks like a really cozy place to live. Now, Twilight Princess isn't perfect, and I would say that the wolf parts really slow the pacing down. And Hyrule Field itself, although it is quite open, there's just very little to explore. But the pros definitely outweigh the cons with fantastic music, characters, and dungeons. Twilight Princess has a lot of dungeons actually, I think it roughly has about 8 I believe, and in between there is plenty of story content. You're probably looking about 30 to 40 hours just to beat the main story alone. Number 2 and number two spot is another Zelda game, and that being The Wind Waker. And man, I absolutely adore this Zelda game. I actually held off on this, however, until the Wii U Remaster came out, as I actually never owned a GameCube. Now, one thing I really love about The Wind Waker is traversing the ocean and stumbling across islands and other various landmarks and exploring them. Even if it's just rupees or bombs you find, something about just coming across these landmarks in this game was really exciting. 
Now, I would say that the start is probably my least favorite, mostly the fortress, but once you do get your boat and start exploring, man, the game just really takes off. All the towns were handcrafted with love and care, and even the overall world goes the same. I loved all the dungeons, didn't hate any of them, where some of the dungeons I really don't look forward to doing, but didn't get this with this game. And of course the art style, which is fantastic and stands up to the test of time, and honestly will never get outdated. And finally, the soundtrack, probably my third favourite Zelda soundtrack of all time. Special shoutouts go to The Windfall Island, Dragon Roost Island, Outset Island, and the Great Sea. Number 1 And my favourite Wii U game of all time is Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. Now, I don't think this is a game that sits at the top of many people's favourite games list, but for me, I love this game. The first reason is the hub world. I love the coastal setting that this game puts you in. It also has my favourite Monster Hunter level of all time, Deserted Island. I love how it has a mix of forests, open plains and ocean, and connects their zones together really nicely. It also has some of my favourite monsters, including the Legiacris, Kuropeko, and the Zenoga. It has a good mix of weapons and armour that range from awesome to quirky, and as mentioned in previous videos, the online is still running, with people still actively playing it online, even with high ranked players happy to help new players. This game also has my favourite companion of all time, Char Char. And so, there we have it, with Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate sitting at my favourite Wii U game list of all time. So there you have it guys, those are my top 5 Wii U games. I would love to know what your favourite Wii U games are in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like as it really helps me out. Anyway guys, that's it for today, and I will catch you next time.